Hi, my name's Nick New. I'm CEO of Optalysis, a company in the UK developing some optical processing technology. Um, the technology allows you to produce or perform um, massively parallel calculations of the form of Fourier transform and linear algebra type operations. And a key component to this is the liquid crystal micro display technology, um, which is very similar to the ones that are used in um, high resolution projectors. Um, the technology has been around uh, and worked on since the mid-1960s, but now with the advent of very high resolution displays, which have extremely high frame rates in some cases, uh, now is the time to um, take advantage of what the, the potential and unlock the potential within the technology. Um, with it, we can address some of the big um, limiting factors that have been discussed over the past day. Um, in particular, power consumption. Uh, our systems are, are very low power, so we only need low, very low power laser light travelling around the um, system that, that uh, performs the calculations. Um, as well as that, the actual electro-optic devices are very low power as well. So we can achieve what are equivalent to a, a very large flop count, uh, but with a fraction of the power consumption. Uh, two main areas that were uh, applicable to this technology. Uh, big data volume analysis, so this has roots in pattern recognition and uh, correlation, uh, and also model generation and uh, optical partial derivative functions. Uh, where our designs come in is that we've produced a very uh, modular and scalable um, way of producing these systems, which were traditionally quite large um, uh, optical systems with a, a, a very high um, tolerance on, uh, on on positioning the components and keeping them aligned. Um, what we do is we, we bond all our components together within a, a glass block, which produces a very compact form that's um, very rugged and very scalable. Um, our first um, product, we're aiming for the end of 2017. Um, the, the two main areas that we're working on under two funded projects at the moment. Uh, the first one uh, is in bio, bioinformatics and uh, genetic sequence alignment. Uh, that's with the Genome Centre in, uh, in Norwich in the UK. And that's a two-year project looking at uh, producing an optical system which will reduce the, um, uh, uh, the time taken to produce a, an equivalent um, sequence alignment process with the HBC. Uh, reducing their energy consumption by about 95% and reducing a process time that takes about 28 hours down to about 1.6 hours. Uh, secondly, we're just about to start a, a big EU-wide project, a uh, Horizon 2020 project with the European Centre for Mid-Range forecast, Forecasting um, as part of a large EU consortium, uh, looking at uh, moving weather forecasting to the exascale um, uh, next generation forecast. Um, and with that, we're working with uh, people like NVIDIA and Cray, uh, looking at positioning our devices as a kind of co co processor sat, sat on an NVIDIA uh, card, sat on the node of a Cray um, HPC. In terms of um, equivalent flop rates, um, the pixel count of these devices where, where because these devices are very high resolution these days rather than use them as, as displays and we use them to enter numerical data into an optical system the equivalent flop rates that are achievable with this are quite astronomical given more pixels we'll take more pixels the more processing power we can um, achieve so we see our technology as a coprocessor uh, initially um, integrated into a HPC or as a standalone product, um, taking on the sort of grunt work, the, the big um, processing tasks within, say, the model generation, big data volume analysis, um, but then as a kind of foot in the door to, to expanding what the optics can do. So where we see our technology fitting is initially as a co-processor, um, probably integrated into HPC, but there's also the potential to produce um, standalone desktop systems. So in terms of the genetic space, then looking towards sort of personalised medicine, having systems within uh, GP surgeries um, is a possibility with this. Thank you. 
very interesting, uh, certainly potentially disruptive in, uh, in the areas that you've described. Uh, I've always been interested in optical processing, but uh, I don't, now that we have the technology, it uh, looks good. I hope you're successful. Thank you. So uh, I'll ask you the same question I asked Bo. Uh, when will you have two dozen systems out at customer sites? Um, the first uh, systems will be up and running in the with the genetics um, centre partners that we have, um, probably about 12 months from now. Two years from now is our intended um, product launch date in the genome space, so around about then I would say. Okay, so what is the programming model for it? Do I care that it's optical processor when I use it? No, that's absolutely a, a, a key point in that the software we're developing will all be open source API. Um, the point being that it's a black box, it's a function call. Um, but it's a function call that will will invoke the optics um, rather than the electronics. And about how much, um, how much of my original code needs to be offloaded to your black box to be useful? That's a very good question and one that we can't fully answer yet to be honest. We, we, um, the, if we think of it as that kind of black box functionality then mapping code to it is probably not way to think about it really. It's, it's um, more a, uh, a sort of um, a math code processor type functionality that would have a set of, of function libraries. Um, because the, the system is all based around these liquid crystal components, which we use not only to input the numerical data, but also in place of the lenses that were traditionally used to focus the light down, it becomes a reconfigurable system as well. So um, conceptually, having a, an optical system that you can reconfigure to, to, to put together the, the, uh, the, using the sort of toolkit of the mathematical functions will supply is a, a way to think about it really rather than mapping code to it. So it's a, it's a, a function call really. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you.